Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today? We got black and black chicken. So I breaded them up and I deep fried them. This half. I even deep fried the head. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but deep fried it. Got some mashed potatoes and I got my cornbread muffins. Today we're gonna be drinking on some zesty blood orange. See that? Yep. And oh, almost lost it. Well, we won't open that one because we jilted that one just a little bit. So, want to hear that? Uh oh. All right, y'all. Shouldn't taste any different than a regular chicken. I'm not doing this again. All right. I got some hot sauce and honey too. Boy, just had a flashback of that. Uh... Flashback of that. Uh... Boy, when I pull that head out, Lord have mercy. look good. Of course, steak seasoning. I love that stuff. I don't know why I haven't been using it. I've just been using my um, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. But that's pretty much the same thing. Anywho. Mm. Oh, you guys, I'm tired. It's the weekend. Y'all see that? This is the one with the bell peppers and the onions in it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get to the chicken. Mmm. Just chicken, baby. It's just chicken. Woo! Black in there. Still black in there. Still black in there. Okay. This tastes like chicken. All right, I got the door open, y'all. So. I my mashed potatoes. Let me show you how Black. Smells good, huh? This is the feta one. Feta cheese in there. No, cream cheese.
I know this is an old subject, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So Q took her, Eva Q took her, took her, um, videos down. And she finally spoke with, uh, Bethany Bela. <laughs> Bethany has such a big heart. She really does. Everybody's not forgiven. So Q, if you run across this, this um, uh, video, you did it to the right one. That's the only thing I can say, honey, because she's forgiving. She has an open heart, and everybody's not like that. At all. At all. I'm just going to say it like this. I'm just going to say it the best way I know how. Some people would have tapped that ass, baby. Straight tapped that ass. Especially you go after the kid. <coughs> right now. So you, you did it to the right one. Somebody who's forgiven has a big heart. Honey, you would have never been able to speak to me up again. Ever. Ever, ever. And about dismissing feelings. Me personally, if I was in that situation, fuck your feelings. You can feel however you want to feel all day, every day. Let me your feelings, not mine. And I'm obligated to uh, care for your feelings. But you did it to the right one. I don't do females like that. At all. I had a new manager at my other job. Honey, for some reason she fights it. I don't know why. But she fights it. I respect all managers, supervisors, chiefs, CEOs, CCOs. I give them respect because position is a respectful position. My expectation is you act the part. A bad man. She didn't try to talk to me sideways one time too many, baby. So you know what? My block game is strong. If you want to communicate with me, you do it at email, workemail.com. Baby, you can't call and talk to me when I'm not on the clock. If I'm not on the clock, you're irrelevant. This is just how I am. I got time to be arguing with a woman. What am I arguing with a woman for? Man, please. Excuse my name, but get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah. Q, you, you got the right one, baby. Because I ain't the one. I'm not going back and forth with no woman. Hey, please. You got, yeah, you got the right one. Bitch trying to mess up with my coin, <clears throat> I'm tapping that out. It's just that plain and simple. You messing with my coin, you getting your ass tapped. It ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I gotta make sure I put a disclaimer in this video. I ain't got time, cause I ain't got time to play with you. It ain't no, oh, I'm sorry. Uh uh. You trying to mess with my coin? Uh uh. As far as I'm concerned, that's attempted murder on my life. My livelihood. My coin? How I feed my kids? How I feed myself? How I do my day to day? I don't know, boo. You got the right one. Yeah, this old country girl. Come on, bring you a good old country ass for all day, every day. I'm not going to eat that chicken. It ain't going to work out for me. But these taste are good. So I guess you know what? This is actually perfect. We got this black and chicken. Because it's a, some, you use a black and mess. And that manager is too. I ain't got time. I don't have time to be playing no games. With a grown ass woman. There ain't nothing you got. <coughs> that you can offer me in my personal life. When I'm at work. You are my manager. It'll tell me exactly what it is that you want me to. What duties you want me to perform. I will do that while I'm on the clock. But once I clock out. You're irrelevant. All day every day. Irrelevant. Yeah, I had to go ahead and block that headphone on my uh, cell phone. 
you sit here and send me. When we talk face, uh, talk face to face, or when we talk on the phone, everything's Gucci, as they would say. Yeah, see me trying to leave some sign. Now, when you're going to go back and forth on text message, you're going to be slick. You're going to be slick all day long. On an empty deadline, because you ain't calling my phone no more. You got me, Mr. Screw. It's not that serious. Life is too short. Too, too short. You know, at my one job, you know, they be needing help. And we used to uh, use our cell phones. We text message, be on a group <clears throat> text message. So if somebody has something going on in their family or something like that, and they needed their day off, they needed coverage, they sent out a mass text. We all respond. Somebody would always cover, if we, even if we split a shift or whatever. Now, this new manager, she didn't come in and talk about we have to if we want to call in, we got to contact the CCO. <laughs> really? If we want to call in. We can't call in to the the hospital to the people who are actually working to the supervisor on. We got to call in to the director of the CCO. Okay. If we're going to call in, we're going to call in. We don't have people in our department. At this particular location, they call it often. Only if something, you know, something going on. They ain't talking about we can't uh, split shifts or change swap uh, shifts without putting it down in writing. Okay. Don't expect me to sign up for too much. You want to put an unnecessary obstacle in the way. I can see for the other departments how that will be necessary, but for our department, it's kind of small. Okay? Our department's kind of small. And the camaraderie that we had, you know what I'm saying, was great. I love working with the ladies I work with all day, every day. If one of them needed off and I'm not working that day and they ask me to work, I'm going to work just because I love our working relationship all day. You know what I'm saying? That's the hot type of uh, department we have. But you want to come in with your rules on whoever said whatever it is they said to you. Go oh, yeah. I can tell you this much: you have a when you short, you gonna have a hard time fulfilling your shifts because you gonna have to fill them. Our corporation is way too large. There's too many options. Too many options. For us, with this company, to be dealing with you. And somebody going to tell me that they're trying to institute a rule saying, if I sign up at one location and my primary location needs me, they can pull me. No, the hell you can't. What you can get, try and pull me. What you're going to get is a call in. That's what you're going to get. All day, every day. Because if I didn't sign up, if I didn't dedicate myself to that location for that shift, I ain't working. I'm not owned. I bet you the other manager or director I'm gonna tell you the whole same damn thing. But baby, people get in these men positions and it pulls out some type of um authoritarian personality you got on them. Baby, you can have that struggle by yourself. Who ain't gonna do it with me? Because I don't have anything to say. You go play in the sandbox by yourself. Anywho. Let me know in the comment section if y'all have ever experienced anything like that. I don't know.
I'm not gonna eat that chicken. I don't know. I still got a half in that Hawaiian uh marinade. Oh yeah, face of Jesus. I hope I said this some good mashed potatoes with it too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. It's gonna air fry. Okay, y'all. Oh, let me see if I can get a thumbnail with the head. And if you made this far, give me five black hearts. Until next time, I'll let you. Bye.